and as uh, Rebecca was just showing us, Hopkinsville, Kentucky. We've talked a lot about right. Hopkinsville. That is because th that is the one place in the Mid-South that is going to see the longest amount of darkness during the eclipse. And it's all starting now. Let's go back to Matthew Torres. Hey guys, let me tell you, it is quite eerie right now because you think that it is so much later than it is. As you guys can see, it has gotten significantly darker. This is what we have been waiting for, what a lot of people have traveled here for. This is the total darkness that we are slowly but surely about to see. So actually I have my eclipse glasses down here, but I have to turn on my phone just so you can see uh, a part of my face because of how much darker it has gotten here. We heard some cheers and some chants and yelling from people uh, really wooing uh, as soon as it's gone dark. So it's not like completely dark just yet. It's like the as if it's the sunrise or either the sunset. And so far, everyone is just on their feet, excited for what is happening. Let me just step aside here uh, just to give you a look. I know it's just kind of a static shot here at the moment, but a lot of people with their families here. It's kind of a tricky job trying to uh, both enjoy this and report of what's happening but so far we are in totality at this moment here just outside of hopkinsville where it is the point of greatest eclipse meaning that anyone right now can look up without their eclipse glasses and just enjoy that uh, ring of uh, of light that we're seeing it is quite amazing and it's something I've never seen before. I've never seen an eclipse, let alone obviously a total solar eclipse. But as we pan around, a lot of people are just staring up in the sky right now, taking pictures uh, with their phones because this is the safe time to do it uh, with two minutes and 40 seconds. Actually, it's obviously less than that now as we are enjoying again this once in a lifetime opportunity. We are joined with hundreds of other people, families. Again, they traveled all over the world to enjoy two minutes and 40 seconds of total darkness, total solar eclipse, that here, just outside of Hopkinsville, it is the greatest spot to watch total darkness. And as you can see, it's now peeking back out and is getting much, just like that, it is getting brighter as we speak. And so I don't know, this is how it looks like here outside of Hopkinsville. We'll send it back to you guys, Rory and Vicky. All right, Matthew, this is just so really weird. It's dark. We hear crickets. Street lights have come on. Yeah, this folks is unbelievable. Gathered just in the last 30 seconds, I believe we're almost at totality I right now. I think we are. Vicky. It's like the middle of the night. This is fantastic. And we can hear people cheering behind us. I guess they're cheering everything going on, although we can't really see it right now. But we've this got is a stubborn totality. cloud we right do. above us, but it is, it's <laughs> remarkable. It's almost either like dusk or dawn. Or, early yeah, dawn, it is. Right? It is. But you know what? We want to give you a chance to enjoy this too. So we'll be quiet right now and let you appreciate this very special event. Look at the Corona. Beautiful. told us it's called Bailey's Beads. Bailey's Beads, that's right. That's we got a good Bailey's shot of it now. Beautiful. Wow, that is so cool. Wow. Oh, okay. Vicki, everyone talks about it being eerie. It certainly is. It sure the is. The middle of the day. Wow. So, You, can, see, you can look five. at it now. And again, this shot from Sky 5, you see the lights of the city. It almost looks like it's sunset or uh -oh, it's sunrise. Moving. It's moving. So put your glasses back on. If you had your glasses off, put them back on because it's moving. And that the rim around it has been called the diamond ring.
Wow. What an incredible two <laughs> minutes, right? Oh, an incredible two minutes. And suddenly it's becoming daylight again, just like that. It is, but it was so strange to hear the crickets, to see the street lights come on. The to cheers, look up, and too, the cheers. from groups all around the city. Oh my gosh. First Tennessee Park. Now this is something you will tell your kids about. This is yeah, something that you'll remember. Remarkable. We were worried about that one stubborn cloud above us, right? but it cleared just in time for us to see the full corona. Exactly. And, and Bailey's, Bailey's beads. beads. Yeah. yeah. So just I've learned remarkable. a lot about this now. This has been so exciting. All right, let's go Matthew back to Torres. Hopkinsville. Yep, Matthew, what's going on there? Hey guys, man, let me tell you, like people just started cheering here. It was that as if the world just rotated so fast. We went through like sunrise to sunset, and this is the look that we are seeing here right now. So we have moved past the total uh, darkness. Again, this is an area where scientists, NASA scientists have converged on because this is the greatest spot. And with me right now is Julie. Uh, she just watched it. How was that like? It was absolutely amazing. This has been one of the greatest experiences in my life. And you are with your family. I mean, yes. what are they thinking right now? I think they're still a bit stunned about it. <laughs> How would you describe this whole event, this whole experience? I know it was just two minutes and 40 seconds, but just like you and me, we loved it. I mean, it was spectacular. I would describe it as very dark. <laughs> That's uh, one way of putting it. I like that. Thank you so much. Uh, again, people are still on their feet. They're just looking up still with their eclipse glasses as they should. I mean, just even before and after, this is an experience that many here, in fact, really all of them, including us, will never ever forget. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And because of this, uh, I have my eclipse glasses on right now, as uh, rightfully so, and a lot of people are taking pictures. It is that energy. As as soon as it got so dark, you just felt everyone uh, kind of perk up with energy, even though it was that eerie and somewhat creepy feeling that it got so dark so fast. But even when it got so bright in within seconds, uh, it's also that energy never died down. So something that I think a lot of people here will never forget and will truly appreciate. And for the most part, I think traveling thousands of miles, uh, it really paid off for many here. So guys, that's how it looks here in Hopkinsville. We'll send it back over to you. Man, this is so exciting. Yeah, I'm still just kind of <laughs> I like am what too. just happened, really? right? It's so beautiful. And you know, the, the magical thing here is that Nashville is the largest metropolitan area in the country to be pretty much in the direct path of this eclipse. That's for sure. And we just saw it. We sure did. How exciting is this?